What it do everyday people man, it's your boy PJ Today we back with another lit video Back in the confessional, yeah we staying lit big dog Shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day. Shout out to my homie Lucky Wheels of Deals, man. You know, he keeping it lit over there. Go check him out on the Lucky Wheels of Deals show. Man, hey, uh, shout out to the 32 Game Wolf Pack. Cool kids, so cool fam. Big PRP. You got the Creo Bay team, Creo Bay, and the Erica Cryer. And, or no, she ain't the Cryer. Damien Cryer. All y'all, y'all. I don't even know who y'all is. What y'all call y'all selves? Because, man, I've been getting into this. Uh, Erica and Damien Cryer and Creo Bay and Mucker and I'm going to just give my two cents on this. Where is Reekin Crucker? M Mucker. Reekin Mucker. Where is he at? So I've been hearing all this good stuff about them and then as soon as I tune in, he don't no longer want to be on the channel no more. What is the deal? Like they got a whole boring video of going to somebody else's gender reveal. Look like in the ghettos of Shaolin. I don't know where they at, but wherever they at, it's in the hood. Okay, <laughs> I will be I will be reluctant to hear some gunshots in this video. Okay, <laughs> it looked crazy. Now these got to be some country folks. I don't know where. They, let me know where they from. Are they are they from Mississippi? Look at my boy Lucky right now. Baby. What's up, player? Shout out to the homie Lucky Wheels of Deals, man. I told y'all we keep it lit. Anyway, uh, let's get into this. She went to a gender reveal, and I told you it was boring. It was a snooze fest. I don't understand how people get in touch with her. Now, she is a pretty woman. I give her that, but she's a messy one, okay? <laughs> if you dating your exes, ex, ex, <laughs> if y'all catch that, her exes, her ex, Damien, his ex, her ex, like <laughs> the XXX, X, X, Jesus Christ. Woo, the messy to get messy. And then it's a, he's a God-fearing man and she's a God-fearing woman. And these are, this is what makes me think they from Mississippi. Cause it is dirty water in this, in this video, this birthday video. And like everything that they show us screams like country home cooking, okay? Yeah, that, that's all I can say. I don't want to disrespect nobody's kids. I don't want to disrespect nobody's family because I don't know y'all just yet. I'm, I know a little bit about y'all, and what I could tell is y'all a whole lot of mess. A whole lot of mess. But uh, anyway, where's Reekin Crucker? Rucker? Mucker? Reekin Mucker? Where are you at? Okay, like I, I was, I tuned in to hear your side of the story, and now all of a sudden you want to disappear off the channel because of your job. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Either y'all not happy, like people saying. People, a lot of people are speculating that y'all not happy, and because ain't no job, ain't no job gonna stop you from uh, getting on YouTube unless you like, you know, I don't know, like a professional. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're a professional and every nothing about you screams for professional. Maybe I got to find out what you actually do before I get to talking. Because I was actually in the professional sector in life. And actually, like, <laughs> my job was exposed by a clown one time. The ice cream man. And uh, he, everybody found out I had a pretty decent job. And it was like... Why does he get on YouTube and talk noise like this? Well, I traveled the world, but I can still have the world travel me. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the type of person I am. I got an outgoing personality. But at my job, nobody knew who I was outside of work. Because I go there for work, and I come home and do me. Okay? And I don't mix the two. So if as long as you're not mixing the two, I don't see why you would have to run away from YouTube. Okay? So, apparently there's something there. I don't know. If there's smoke, there's fire. But anyway, let's get to the next one. We're going to talk about Baby Drake's first birthday party. Okay? This was a hot mess. And I'm talking about them damn candles. Okay? <laughs> Who decided to light sparklers? Look at all these sparklers on this cake. The baby is one years old, Erica. Like, what, what are you thinking? And you, what, you are not in your right mind to put, look at 
all those black spots. You probably can't see it, but it's a bunch of black spots where the where the uh, where the icing didn't melt it because it been hit by hot ash. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is what makes me think y'all from Mississippi, cause y'all can live through anything. I mean, if y'all swimming through that dirty water, like. Okay, in Oklahoma, we got red dirt, so this is lake called Thunderbird. There might be a few bodies floating around in there, but you know, there people swim in that. I've swam it a few times too, but at some point, I was like, right, this water's unhealthy. You know what I'm saying? I could do it as a kid, but as an adult, I catch COVID, I'd be out of here if I get in that water. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, unfortunately, y'all not afraid. It could be water moccasins or anything. Now, if you don't know what a water moccasin is, you are definitely not from a country, city, or town. Okay? But trust me, this Mississippi girl, she know what a, a water moccasin is. And they will kill you fast. And they jump you. Like, there, there might be one floating on the top, but there might be 50 floating under the, under the water. Because one keeps them safe and from predators at the top and the rest of them they once they get attacked like say if a bird come down try to swoop that one up the rest of them jump out the water and get them you know what i'm saying that's long story anyway that's a little bit of <laughs> a discovery channel from everyday pj anyway back to this cake this cake is garbage you know <laughs> shout out to this one year old then they cut the one year old's name out of the cake like just buy the one year old his own separate cake okay who who cuts the name out this is what we used to do when we was kids and they still haven't got over this we would cut our name out the cake and we'll save it for later i'm gonna eat my own name nobody else gonna eat my name man I, when i was like 12 and they was like do you want to save your name i said for what <laughs> it's a cake but apparently, these people haven't grown out of that. They haven't realized it's just a cake. And most people need nowadays buy a separate cake for a one-year-old so they can put their hands in. But, hey, I don't know, Erica. You get you. The more, every day, every video that go by, I start to not like you even more. Cause, just because of stupid stuff like this. Put third, one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I'm sure there's about 20 of them sparklers in that cake. For what? The kid is one. And then you got the one lit up. Like, is there not enough fire going on? It, <laughs> one more sparkler in Mississippi going to be burning for real, okay? <laughs> like, stop. <laughs> anyway. I was going to do my research on uh, Erica because she seems the more outgoing and she talks the most. Everybody else be on that bull crap like, like Mucker and Creole Bay. They are boring. Like, how? Who even brought them into the? De oh, of course, Erica and, and, and Damien. They brought them in the in the whole situation by having babies everywhere. Erica. Four baby daddies, homeless, single, Q&A, let's go. Now, here, here it is. Most stupid people asking this woman for advice. Man, y'all ain't learn. Let's get into it. Like, in my past, like, when I was transparent, especially about a pregnancy, people have literally sat there and dissected my ultrasounds. They've made up lies about me and my pregnancies. People have created fake DNA tests. People have, like... People literally hired certain men to get on this platform to say that they was my child's father or to lie and say that they slept with me and like all of this horrible stuff that could ruin your reputation. So Erica, let me get this straight. Somebody has actually hired somebody to act like they, like somebody actually paid somebody. I'm, a, I'm a, let's put this out there. Facebook don't pay that much money for these channels to be hiring nobody to do anything. If somebody going to do it, it's just off of clout. It's straight clout. Ain't no way I'm going to pay somebody. If I make $50 a video, I'm not paying somebody $50 to act like Erica. I, I, I know you I know you got 62,000 subscribers, but baby, you is not that important, okay? You, ain't nobody making that much money off of you, okay? 
They may make a little bit of change, but nothing strange to make somebody do something strange for a little change, okay? I, somebody, sometimes these people got to be humble, okay? Erica is a person that needs to be humble. Like, we, I'm, I'm trying to love you, Erica. I, I, I really am. You got a pretty face. You got four baby daddies. You, well, you got three baby daddies, but one spent a block. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> hey, if you, it, there's, there's a few suckers in this world right now. <laughs> There's Zion Williams and Damian Cryer. Those are number one and two. Everybody else, we're going to start. <laughs> like the biggest suckers in this world right now is Zion Williams and Damian Cryer for coming back and having another baby with you. First of all, Damian, you have a baby by her and she keeps the baby from you. Then she goes to have a baby by another dude keeps the baby away from him, spins the block on you, gets you, get, you get her pregnant again, and you expect her to be a, she only letting you see the kid right now because she pregnant. And then she moved from Houston, Texas back to Mississippi. I don't know, she could be from Alabama, but these don't strike me as, I, they ain't said roll tide one time. And if it, you know, Alabama, people from Alabama, they love saying roll tide. It ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Football, and they just be like, uh, yeah, I'm having a gender reveal roll tide. <laughs> Which makes me think they from, you know, wherever Carlos Miller's from. You know what I'm saying? A place about with a uh, population of 300, okay? Anyway, uh, yeah, so Damon, like, come on, man. As, as soon as she dropped that baby out, you ain't going to see your son again. You might as well go and get a DNA test. So she's moved, she moved from Houston, okay? That's so she say, we're going to find out more details. You know, if she, if she start, uh, if you watch Damon's last video where he's taking his son um, shopping, he taking his son shopping, you can hear the little boy say, mama, like he went to the back room and called out his mama. So, I don't know. She she had to been there. She had to have been there, okay? I mean, whatever. That's that's a slip up I caught. If y'all didn't catch it, man, go check him out right before, um, you know, he was talking He was talk about his Crocs. <laughs> Come on, man. You wear them big old Crocs. Talking about you was, uh, man, I got these Crocs on because I was cooking and the grease fell on my foot. And I, Bro, how much grease fell on your foot? And, and and the fact that you had to justify you wearing Crocs, just say you want to be comfortable, man. Just say you want to be comfortable, Damon. I'm sick of the cap, man. You and Erica, y'all belong for you. Y'all belong together. Just tell her to move back to Houston with you, man. Or just move around the corner. She trying to move away with the kids. Back to where uh, Creo Bay and uh, um, Mucker is. Reek and Mucker. Whatever. Come on, man. You done lost again, dude. Uh, next time next time you decide you want to get a girl pregnant, con contact me. And so I can tell you, hell no, okay? Especially when it's already your baby mama who kept you away from your first son. Like, you talk about you co-parenting now. I was looking back on a story, a video, where you was talking about you couldn't get your son and she was doing all this. Bruh, if she if she don't let you see your kid this time, it's your fault. It's, it's your fault. It's absolutely your fault. Because you did it to yourself. You, my baby mama is a nutcase. Okay? And... One time she wanted to have another kid. I said, no, absolutely not. Okay, absolutely not. This is when I was still running back to her and sleeping around. You know, I, I was <laughs> I was a disgusting Negro back in the day. But I was still running back and sleeping with her and stuff like that. And da, 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 da. But then I, I, when she wanted to have another kid, I was like, hell no. You girl, you go... <laughs> You treat me like dirt now. <laughs> the only time you're nice to me is when you want some D. So no, I'm not coming. You not not absolutely not. And 
hey, lo and behold, I was right. I, sh I, I, I should have never, would have never had another kid by that. It would have been the same thing. Insanity. Everyday people, man, let me know what y'all think about these nutcases, man. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace. <laughs>